Please join us in singing hymn 137, O Wondrous Type, O Vision Fair.
ye watchers and ye holy ones, bright seraphs, cherubim and thrones, raise the glad strain, alleluia. Cry of dominion, spreads those bones, virtues, archangels, angels, scores, today, uh, Eileen Morgan and Vicki and Jim Fuller. Again, we are glad you're with us. Let's join in worship. Blessed be God, holy, glorious, undivided Trinity. And blessed be God's reign, now and forever. Amen. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of God has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, and deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Holy One will rise, and the glory of God will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light and rulers to the brightness of your dawn. Your gates will always be open by day or by night. They will never be shut. They will call you the city of our God, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation all your portals praise. The sun 
sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Holy One will be your everlasting light. Your God will be your glory. God be with you. And also, and also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, who before the Passion revealed Jesus in glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith that radiant countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed with Jesus from glory to glory through our Savior and Redeemer who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from 2 Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. From Gilgal. Elisha said, Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, for the Lord has sent me as far as Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. The company of prophets who were in Bethel came to Elisha and said to him, do you know that today the Lord will take your master away from you? And he said, yes, I know, keep silent. Elijah said to him, Elisha, stay here for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. But he said, as the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho. The company of prophets who were at Jericho drew near to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take your master away from you? And he answered, Yes, I know. Be silent. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But he said, as the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on. 50 men of the company of prophets also went and stood at some distance from them as they were both standing by the Jordan. Then Elijah took his mantle and rolled it up and struck the water. The water was parted to one side and to the other until the two of them crossed on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, tell me what I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha said, please let me inherit a double share of your spirit. He responded, you have asked a hard thing. Yet, if you see me as I am being taken from you, it will be granted you. If not, it will not. As they continued walking and talking, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them, and Elijah ascended in a whirlwind into heaven. Elisha kept watching and crying out, Father, Father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. But when he could no longer see him, he grasped his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. Here ends the reading. Psalm 50. The God of gods has spoken. God has called the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in its beauty, God is revealed in glory. O oh God, you will come and will not keep silence. Before you there is a consuming flame, and around about you a raging storm. You call the heavens and the earth from above to witness the judgment of your people. Gather before me, my loyal followers, those who have made a covenant with me and sealed it with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare the rightness of your cause, for you alone are judge. A reading from 2 Corinthians. 
even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves. We proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Here ends the reading. The Holy Gospel of our Savior, Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, O Christ. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain part by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them. And from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, he ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until the Son of Man had risen from the dead. The Gospel of our Savior. Praise to you, O Christ. I sing creed. We, we believe, believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He is spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. During the prayers of the people, we invite you to use the comment section and tell us your prayers. Write your prayers so that those assembled or those watching later can pray for those things as well. Holy God, your way brings light and life. Hear us and change us as we pray. Make your ways known on earth, your saving help among all nations. Govern and direct your holy church. Fill it with love and truth and grant it clarity and purpose. Make your ways known on earth. Your saving help among all nations. 
Give us eyes to see your light in our world and give us words and actions to share your light in our world. Make your ways known on earth. Your, your saving, saving health among, among all nations. nations. Guide our elected and appointed officials in the ways of justice, dignity, and peace. Make your ways known on earth. Your, your saving, saving health among, among all nations. nations. Protect and strengthen all who work in health care, all who are caregivers, and all who work for the common good. Make your ways known on earth. Your, your saving, saving health, health among, among all nations. nations. Build within us the ability and will to provide for the homeless, the hungry, and those in need. Make your ways known on earth. Your, your saving, saving health among all nations. nations. Heal those who are sick in body, mind, or spirit. Help and comfort the lonely, the bereaved, the oppressed, and all in danger. Make your ways known on earth. Your, your saving health among all nations. We commend to you all who have died, both those we know and those who are known to you alone. Make your ways known on earth. Your, your saving, saving health among, among all nations. nations. Almighty God, to whom our needs are known before we ask. Help us to ask only what accords with your will, and those good things which we dare not, or in our ignorance cannot ask, grant us. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Now God, who has both power and love, forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by the Holy Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Savior. Amen. The peace of Christ be always with you. And, and also, also with you. With you. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of God has dawned upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of God has Be rich in good works, generous and ready to share. Thus, store up for yourselves the treasures of a good foundation for the future, so that you may take hold of a life that really is life.
May God be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift Lift them to our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. All thanks and praise are yours at all times and in all places, our true, loving, and ever-living God, through Jesus Christ, your eternal word, the wisdom from on high, by whom you created all things. You laid the foundations of the world and enclosed the sea when it burst forth from the womb. You brought forth all creatures of the earth and gave breath to humankind. Wondrous are you, holy one of blessing. All that you create stands as a sign of hope for our journey. And so as the morning star sings your praises, we join the heavenly beings and all creation as we shout for joy. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Glory and honor are yours, creator of all. Your word has never been silent. You call the people to yourself as a light to the nations. You delivered them from bondage and led them to a land of promise. Of your grace, you gave Jesus to be human, to share our life, to proclaim the coming of your holy reign and give himself for us a fragrant offering. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, you have freed us from sin, brought us into your life, reconciled us to you, and restored us to the glory you intended for us. We thank you that on the night before he died for us, Jesus took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his friends, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, broken for you. Do this for the remembrance of After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine, said the blessing, gave it to his friends, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. And so, remembering all that was done for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection and ascension, longing for Christ's coming in glory and presenting to you these gifts your earth has formed and human hands have made, we acclaim you, O Christ. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Christ Jesus, come in glory. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts of bread and wine, they may be to us the body and blood of your Christ. Grant that we, burning with your Spirit's power, may be a people of hope, justice, and love. Giver of life, draw us together in the body of Christ and in the fullness of time, gather us with all your people into the joy of our true eternal home. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, we worship you, our God and Creator, in voices of unending praise now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
These are the gifts of God for the people of God. In union, blessed Jesus, with the faithful gathered at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are offered this day, remembering particularly all members of St. Luke's, I long to offer you praise and thanksgiving for creation and all the blessings of this life, for the redemption won for us by your life, death, and resurrection, the means of grace, and the hope of glory. I believe that you are truly present in the Holy Sacrament. And since I cannot at this time receive communion, I pray you to come into my heart. I unite myself with you and embrace you with all my heart, my soul, and my mind. Let nothing separate me from you. Let me serve you in this life until by your grace, I come to your glorious kingdom and unending peace. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord, to him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, honor and glory now and forever. Amen. And now live without fear. Your creator has made you holy, has always protected you, and loves you with a power and presence stronger than death. And the blessing of God, our creator, Christ, our redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, our sustainer, be with you now and always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Let us bless God. God. Thank you again for worshiping with us today. Uh, please continue worshiping by listening to our sermon for the day. If you're watching on Facebook, it's the next video available. Uh, it probably is also listed in our comment section. You can also find our sermons at any time on our website, stlukesdurham.org. If you're watching this on Sunday morning, we hope you'll join us for coffee hour at 11 o'clock Eastern. If you're on our mailing list, you get that every Friday, you get the link with our announcements. If you're not yet on our mailing list, go over to our website, find our calendar, and click on the Sunday morning 11 o'clock event, and the Zoom link is right there. Again, thank you for worshiping with us. Blessings. Please join us in singing hymn 460. Alleluia, sing to Jesus, verses 1, 2, 4, and 5. 